What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to three fools and one brain cell minus one fool. It's it's rip venom this week. Yeah, that's what uh, you got trying going on. <laughs> one of us misses <laughs> a week. Or every other week. <laughs> yeah, every other week one of us is gone. And uh anyway. Sports still happen even though one of us dies. So <laughs> we the show must go on. So, uh, Wrath, how'd the scores look this week? <laughs> All right. Or how did, I guess we should just go over, like, predictions, I guess, that we made last week. Well, for the predictions last week, let me see here. For week 17, I'm going to start with the te Titans-Texans game, because we did cover the Jets, Browns, Lions, Cowboys last week. Alrighty, so we did uh, so for Titans Texas games we picked all right. So Weymouth and I picked the Texans, and Venom picked the Titans. Oh, let me try that again. Venom picked <laughs> the Titans, we picked the Texans, and Texans the won, right? Texans won twenty six three. I'm a little upset I didn't miss all these games this week. Yeah, the, some of them were actually pretty good, especially. The Fuck! What was it? I think. Oh, I'll remember I, I, once we get to it, I guess. But I, I made sure I kept track of the Patriots Bills game. That was literally the only game I paid attention to. Yeah, and you were exactly right. One possession. It was exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> that. Um. Oh, I. I'll wait till we get to that game because that. I've got a little bit to say about the Bills. <laughs> Falcons Bears. We all picked the Bears to win. And the Bears won. Twenty or thirty-seven to seventeen. Um, and then we had the Dolphins Ravens. Uh, Weymouth and I had picked the Dolphins. Uh, Venom had picked the Ravens, and Dolphins, uh, he no. was right, fifty-six to nineteen. Yeah, that game was an utter joke for those Dolphins. Which I think that week it ended up with the Ravens clinching the first seed. So they. Rested everybody with the Steelers and Ravens game today. Or at least Lamar Jackson, I think. So Ravens are the number one seed, is f I'm pretty sure. No matter what happens with any other game this week. Hmm. Then we have the Saints Buccaneers. Uh, Weymouth and I picked the Saints. Venom picked the Bucks, and then the Saints won twenty-three to thirteen. Is there anything on that game to come? And then I don't think it really affected much. I don't think. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. What's their record? I. It, both of them are eight and eight. Oh yes, yeah, so actually, eight eight. okay. So this week could determine the NFC South between the Bucks, the Falcons, and the Saints. So I think that that division is still open. So those games matter this week. Uh, the Panthers do not. <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> sure they're, they're in the same division, but. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, and then we have uh, the Bills and the Patriots. Obviously, I picked the Bills to win. Both by of them picked possession. the <laughs> Patriots. I did say by one possession, and it was literally one possession. Yeah, it's actually a six point. Yeah, it was. Uh, but still. T I mean, technically, you could consider it two possessions, but or a two score game. Oh, one possession is, is seven points. But still, yeah. The Bills are not going anywhere in the playoffs, if anybody's wondering. Like, I'll be surprised if they pull some some little shit out of their head. I ain't gonna lie, I won't be surprised. I just don't see it happening because if oh, I we don't, played but like this I said, bad I against the Patriots, this game really mattered to them. So they got four turnovers in that game, and it was a one possession game. That's bad, terrible offense. 
the Patriots defense is really good, but for a playoff team to lose to the Patriots by or win to the Patriots by one possession is just bad, in my opinion. But that could all change this week. Because I think the it's the Dolphins and the Bills in Miami, which I don't really see the Bills winning, but that's beside the point. Yeah, it's this the week. Dolphins and the Bills. But I really just I don't see the Bills doing much in the playoffs at all. They're gonna get smoked by whoever they play, unless it's a lower seed team like somebody at the AFC South. So they they could make it out of the wild card, but I'm not exactly. I wouldn't be making any bets that they're gonna make it. Honestly, how the uh, how how it's being set up for the playoffs, I honestly think it might be a good year. I I I, I, I do think there will be a couple of uh, upsets. I do. I mean, there could be upsets. I just I don't see the Bills causing them. Like I said, I won't be surprised, but I'm, I'm not banking on it at all, nor am I hoping for it. It's just there's someone's going to create a huge upset. I do see that the I do feel, have a feeling the Ravens are going to fucking fall out. I think I they're going to choke it. I really think it's going to yep. be the Dolphins going to the Super Bowl after losing. See, like that I don't know. Them. I have a feeling they, that they might fuck up too. See, my thought like there's is, so much hype built up around both of them, and uh, who else? Who else was the other one? Chiefs. Is it the Chiefs? They're the last year's Super Bowl winner. That man, I just or is I don't it the know, 49ers that are in the NFC? I can't we talk remember. It. Uh, yeah, it is the 49ers. It is the 49ers. Yes. See, I, I see that happening too, but hey, I don't see the Cowboys. I don't see the Eagles making it. But I could see the yeah. 49ers screwing up, like, in the divisional round, I guess. I guess it's all going to depend on who they play. It's going to be a home game for them, is all. So, that's why I really, th I think 49ers would be good. But in the AFC, I could see the Ravens making it out of the divisional round, have hosting the AFC championship game against the Dolphins, and the Dolphins having a chip on their shoulder after getting just obliterated by them coming in and making a really close game with them through the playoffs. And that will be probably the game of the playoffs is the AFC Championship game, which it always should be. But the NFC Championship, I don't think it's going to be as close. But... That's like, what, four weeks away? Five weeks? I, I'd have to look at the moment. Holy shit. I can't remember how many. Injuries can Let's happen, see. so. And, well, actually, the Dolphins might be, just because of injuries being able to happen, they have to win this game this week to win the AFC East. So they can't rest nobody. So that's what's going to screw up the Dolphins. Is they're not going to be able to rest anybody at all. And they won't get a bye week. Alright, on to the next one. <laughs> um, we had the Cardinals beating the Eagles 35-31. We all picked the Eagles, so we just... See, the Eagles, you can't ever count on them. You can't get them to freaking lose oh, when you want yeah, them to. You can't get them to win when you want them to. That was the game we all went. Yeah, you said we all went to the Eagles, right? And then, like, mm -hmm. the end of the ga end of the series, we're like, what's going to be the upset this week? And it ended up being that. <laughs> the Cardinals beating the Eagles. Like, that's why I don't think they're going to win. Like, they're not going to the Super Bowl. Especially if they're going to lose to a lower team like that. Unless it's going to spark something in them to play better. But, I don't know. And 
then we had the Jaguars beating the Panthers 26 to 0. Venom, for some reason, decided he was going to go for the Panthers. Makes no sense. Did and they? screw loose. Did the Jags win? The Jags won, yes. Yeah, for some reason, I thought Panthers won. I don't know why. Wow. You're as delusional as he is. <laughs> well, I'm not delusional. I just for some reason thought they won, but <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, Colts beat the Raiders 23 to 20. We all had the Raiders pick. See, I, th I really thought the Raiders would actually be like, they had like forward momentum, so they were going to go into this game winning. It was a, an away game for them, wasn't it? Like it was in Indianapolis. You don't know, do you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Does it say? And the thing is, does it say like Colts versus Raiders or Raiders versus Colts? All right. Yeah. Good. See, I, I, well, I didn't want to ask you something stupid, but <laughs> the top team is the home team, correct? It's the away team. All right. Then the, uh, the Colts were home. Alright, so yeah. See, I felt I, I, I had a feeling I had bad words, and I just didn't want to say none because now. <laughs> I always do it too, so. It's just out there. <laughs> I do it all the time too. I usually think about it, but yeah. Hey, you can't expect nothing from brain cells. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, We got the Rams beating the Giants 26 to 25, and Weymouth was the only one that had the Rams pick. The Rams won? And the Rams won. By a point. Did they play again? Kind of said I missed that game because that, that, that looked like it might have been a good game. Huh? Hey, you can't you can't count Matthew Stafford out. That could be an upset, I think. What the Rams? The Rams upsetting a team. They're, they're, they're like on aren't, no one's aren't radar they to win. On, uh, Hold on, let me look. Because haven't they been actually doing well these last few weeks? This? Yeah, because they won the week before. They won the week before that. And... Okay, and they lost against the Ravens this in week 14. So th surprising. they are in a little bit of a run right now. So if they keep their momentum going and, and that, mm. yeah, definitely. They could be a team that I... I could see them beating the Eagles if they had to play them, and being the team I that knocks them out. A lot of teams beating the Eagles, to be honest. Well, I don't really see anybody out of the AFC South or NFC South beating them because the AFC South's just kind of joke. I don't know. I I I, I, I think South I think the Cowboys. Like. I think the Cowboys will. If they, if they match up in the playoffs, I think the Cowboys will beat the Eagles. I, I will say that. I, I, I have could. I have faith in that. I think it depends on where they play. I think, uh, oh, go ahead. I think if uh, the Cowboys have to travel to Philly, they ain't beating the Eagles. But, <clears throat> you never really know, I guess. Yeah, you don't until it happens. We got the 49ers beating the the uh, beating Washington 27 to 10. Uh, we all had the Niners pick. And Obviously, the Niners won. I think they clinched the number one seed this week. They already had it clinched. Did they? I thought they did. No, this no, week. that. Wait, yeah, yeah. I thought they already had it clinched. I think it was presumed that they were going to, but I don't know if they. Had they did. They might have. And then we got the Steelers beating the Seahawks 30 to 23. Um, Weymouth went Seahawks. Venom and I went Steelers. Ooh, the Steelers give me tell. Yeah, I. The Hawks. I don't know. They're. They're kind of a wishy-washy team, I guess. Like they're good when they're good, and they're bad when they're bad <laughs> yeah like Geno Smith has been playing fairly well with them 
and I don't know if they're in the playoffs yet. I think maybe they might be in a wild card spot. But I'm not looking at the playoff picture at the moment. Yeah, but I don't I don't have that up at the moment either. Because they'll be coming up here later, so we'll go after that after picks. Or after the game you want to talk about. Okay. Um, where did I leave off? All right. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Chiefs beat the Bengals twenty-five to seventeen. Not um, a surprise, but Weymouth and Venom had the Bengals picked. I had the Chiefs. Hey. The Chiefs aren't going that. anywhere in the playoffs either. They yeah, might. Same. They might make it to the divisional round, but I. They're not going anywhere. I, their team is actually, I think, going downhill as of right now. <laughs> I don't think they're as good of a team as they were last year. Plus, with the uh, potential of Travis Kelsey being his last season, this could end up being, unless they pick well in the draft, but I think they're going to go downhill, and I think Patrick Mahomes is going downhill. Like, his little antics with his, like, how he plays, I don't think is working anymore. Like, his little trick shots that he tries to do. Oh, wait, you're a Patrick uh, Mahomes supporter. Who? <laughs> you. No, I'm not. I thought you were. I thought you liked him for some reason. Uh, I think that's Venom. No, he doesn't like him. He hates him. Because <laughs> I definitely don't follow him too much. I might say... I just argue any time anyone says Brady's the greatest goat of all time. That's when I will say other freaking quarterbacks. Ah, so you're just arguing. <laughs> anyway, I, I don't see them doing much. Um, Broncos beat the Chargers. Yeah, I don't either. Broncos beat the Chargers uh, 16 to 9. I'm the only one who had the Broncos picked. Yeah, okay. I'm smart. Well, I kind of figured the Chargers would, uh, you know, want to get a win after their abysmal performance the last couple weeks, but I guess not. Nah, they're teetering downhill. Losing, losing their coach. <laughs> or losing everything, apparently. <laughs> And then we have uh, the Packers versus the Vikings. Packers win 33-10. to Wings and I had the Packers. Venom had the Vikings. That game oh, no. I, honestly, I, I'm i kind of glad the Packers won. Because <laughs> uh, going into tomorrow, Lions versus the Vikings, I do say the Lions coming off of that one-point loss against Dallas is going to have them motivated. And... I think the Vikings are not going to play as well as they should because I think because I think aren't they on, at risk of falling out of Who? wild card Vikings? Uh, yes. <clears throat> if the Saints or anybody else wins, can knock them out. I think. And then that's if they lose. Yes, they have to win tomorrow to stay in the playoffs. I think, along with Green Bay. And then and we I don't... think Green Bay also has the advantage over the Vikings with that win. So if the Vikings win and Green Bay wins, I think Green Bay actually goes in, but I can't remember. Or Green Bay needs the Vikings to lose this week. I can't remember. Once we look at the playoff shit, we'll have more to say on that. And then <coughs> I forgot to add this one to our picks, but... Um, Steelers beat the Ravens seventeen to ten, hmm. <coughs> which honestly puts a smile on my face again. And then the Colts or the Texans are beating the Colts seven to three at the moment. Second quarter, nine minutes left. The Texans are beating the Colts. Quarter. Yeah, Texans are winning at the moment, but I do think the Colts will win at the end. 
I hope not. <laughs> I I just think I think so, and I honestly I I root more for the Colts than I would the Texans, anyways. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> All right, that's right. Is that all the picks? All right. That is all the picks. What? <clears throat> For some reason, I thought, what? I don't know why I thought that there was more games than that. Maybe it's because I watched more football this week than normal by watching the college game. Alright, say that again? I said it. I was surprised. I was confused because it seemed like there was more games this week, but I think it's because I watched the two college games. Uh, is why. Two college bowls, bowl games. The Rose Bowl and the I think Sugar Bowl or whatever that one was called. Oh, well, I guess I could uh, go into the two bowl games. We had the Michigan versus Alabama, and that game went into overtime. Uh, Michigan almost screwed it up before it went into overtime. They muffed the uh, kickoff, not kickoff, punt, and Bout got a safety done on them by Alabama but anyway it didn't happen there was two timeouts near the end one by Alabama one by Michigan I don't know why Michigan took the timeout and I'm not really sure why Alabama did either but maybe to make somebody overthink but it didn't happen game went in overtime and Alabama no Michigan got the ball first and they drove down scored a touchdown then Alabama got the ball and do you, do you know how college rules work uh, some of them so like overtime rules uh, isn't that a bet no. no I don't I don't remember uh, so the overtime rules in college way different than the NFL it, both teams get a shot with the ball. There's no punt, and both teams start on. I think it's the 30-yard line, and you're trying to obviously score a touchdown. But both teams get possession of the ball. If, it's like say Michigan, like they did, drove down, scored a touchdown. The Alabama would have to drive down, score a touchdown. Then Michigan would get the ball back again and just kind of go back and forth until one doesn't score, basically. Okay. The same. So, like, say Michigan, say Alabama did end up scoring on that drive. They scored a touchdown. Say Michigan got the ball back and they went down and they scored a field goal. Alabama would have to, at minimum, score a field goal to not lose the game. Or if they scored a touchdown, they would think win the game uh, yeah I think that's how that would work They, if they scored a touchdown they would end up winning the game like no, I don't think Michigan would have had a chance to uh, go again but let's say they did copy them and Michigan got the ball again and they didn't do anything so it was still a tied game all Alabama would have had to have done is scored a field goal which starting at the 30 yard line is pretty simple. But didn't happen. Michigan won. Uh, I think Alabama lost on the one yard line in overtime. They went for a pass that didn't obviously connect. And Michigan won. And then you had 
Washington versus Texans, or Texas, not Texans, and Washington won. The game was, I think, one-sided. I don't think, no, actually, no, it wasn't. It was a one-possession game, but I kind of expected Texas to win, and they didn't. So, this week, it will be Michigan versus Washington in the national title. Think this week? No, it's not this weekend. Actually, it could be today. I don't know. <sighs> Let's look that up real quick. Washington versus Washington. Michigan. Oh my god, I hate this championship. We hear a lot of things, we know. <clears throat> that is January 8th, so that's this week. Monday. So that's Monday at 7 o'clock. It's going to be Michigan versus Washington. And they're both undefeated. So, it should be a decent game. Hmm. Jim Harbaugh's going for a college title or is it Jim Harbaugh or I can't remember or John Harbaugh I can't fucking remember one of them is the Ravens coach and the other one's Michigan college coach anyway that's your your college uh, input for the week I could talk a little bit about basketball. I know. Actually, no, I can't. I can't talk anything about <laughs> basketball. I just know Celtics won a game this week. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> wow. That's more than what I know. <laughs> I don't watch enough. I think the Bruins also lost. I, but I didn't watch any hockey. Venom not being here really screws that part up. <laughs> Venom usually covers all the other sports. <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't, I don't know if any of the fights happened yet, but that he talked about. But I don't watch UFC, so I don't either. There's that. I'm kind of a football guy. I really like football and Rocket League. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, there's your, there's your, there's your uh, basketball hockey stuff that's my extent of my knowledge this week for that um sure. i guess we just kind of banter about playoffs if you want yeah actually i, I i'm looking at cbs's um nfl playoff picture obviously it's not set in stone yet because um the there are two tomorrow. games this week uh, yeah that can actually change change it but <clears throat> For the AFC right now, obviously the Ravens at the moment, and I think they actually I think they keep it. Period. Um, yeah. They have the first round by obviously the number one seed, and then it'll be Dolphins versus Steelers. If the Stol wait are the Dolphins in? I guess they're number two seed. Even with a loss this week. I think so. This was updated two hours ago. I'm just trying to. I don't know how accurate this is. This is the first time I'm using it. Um, and like I said, and honestly, it does. Like, I can look here. Um, we're, we're talking about Dolphins, right? Yep. Yeah, they're 11 and 5. They still have the better record. They still have the better divisional and conference over everyone else that's underneath them. Even the Bills. Other than Pittsburgh with division, but Pittsburgh is 10 and 7. Okay. So I guess they might rest people this week, I guess. So I might have been wrong earlier. So they might not even try with the Bills. Other than it being a divisional game and wanting to win it, but See, I'm thinking if, if that's if this is actually how it plays out, I honestly do think the Steelers would beat the Dolphins. Why? I don't know, didn't they Well the Steelers have actually been playing fairly well the last few weeks. 
like honestly they've had good games i think they've won at least two of the last three i can go back to the schedule and look uh, they've been winning i guess yeah, they don't have they've been winning um i don't know why i thought they had a losing Let's record they beat the Bengals. well they're 10 and 7 or 10 and 8 I thought it was a losing um, record, though. <laughs> yeah they're 10 and 7 um well i guess they did i guess they did it's still rough and they oh okay so they won they won last week and the week before they lost to the colts and then i think the week before that they beat oh no they lost to the patriots too so no never mind um i'm they, they are actually on a bit of a losing streak they haven't won since uh week 12 well, right they, well except for this week hold on well yeah um they, hold on All right, so week 13 they lost Week 14, I'm sorry, they lost. Week 15, they lost. <coughs> 16, they won. And 7, oh wait, no. Yeah, okay, <coughs> oh, no, they play this week. They play, uh, oh no, they beat the Seahawks. So yeah, they're on a two-game win streak uh, going into uh, into this week. Yeah, but this week's kind of, uh, going into this week. Are oh wait, no, they, they already played that week, so they're they're on a two game win streak going uh, into the playoffs. Yeah, but they didn't really play much of a Ravens team because I'm sure they. I didn't watch the game. I should have, but I'm sure the Ravens they sat most of their starters. Most most likely, or at least I know Lamar Jackson had to have not played. So that definitely affected, because I think it ended, what, 14-7? Or did they score again? Uh, it was 17-10. Oh, so the Ravens scored a field goal. Uh, yeah. 17-10. And, uh, oh, so then, yeah. See, so their win streak really isn't, if you look at it like that with the Ravens, it's not really much. Because they didn't really play. They might have all just played a preseason game. Oh shit! Look, look and see uh, who all had left that game. Let's see. Steelers versus Ravens. Player stats. Yeah, Ravens. I don't know who's who's all the T. starters Huntley. on the Ravens. So he's the backup. Edward G. Edwards, T. Huntley. Yeah, nobody for running backs played. Which makes sense, anyways. Uh, obviously, not arguing. No, Jay no Hill arguing likely played. Uh, yeah, I don't think any. Starting receivers played either. Defense, <laughs> I mean, I don't really know their defense very well. But yeah, I don't think oh. any of their starters really played. Well, I'm going to pull away from that subject because I also want to touch on this one. I know who's going to beat the Cowboys in the playoffs. Who? If it, if it, if it plays out like this, the pack, was it Packers win tomorrow? I um, so. it'll be Packers, Cowboys, and the Packers be the ones to beat the Cowboys because I want the fucking Cowboys to beat the Packers. I guarantee it. <laughs> just because you want. That's how it's gonna that fucking way. go. Because I just, just because I need, I need the Cowboys to win. And the uh, Lions Rams game. I'm hoping for the Lions, but I am unsure. Not the Rams. Oh, this week? No, I'm still oh. looking at playoff shit. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if, if the if everybody sits at where they're right now, yeah, I could see. I don't know. I, I don't think people are. I f I feel like teams are overlooking the Lions. Well, I do feel a lot of people are overlooking the Lions, and I think that's why they've had so much trash in so far. But I do think it's going to slow down here in the playoffs, because. Shit, the Lions are here in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah. What is wrong with their picture? And, you know, same with the Browns. In the Browns, you know, they're sitting at, at the fifth seed. Shit, they're not dropping out of the playoffs. I think they're, I think, yeah, they're clinched. Um, wild yeah. card or whatever. 
could get the Browns and the Lions in the Super or Bowl. Or no playoff berth, never mind. Yeah. A lot of people slept on them, too. I think they really got traction when they beat the Ravens, though. Like, every, or not traction, but everybody realized they are a legit playoff team. I don't know yeah. why, because the Ravens are a divisional rival, and divisional games always can go either way. I don't care if the one team's lost every single game. <laughs> Divisions are always just either w really close or they just completely fuck up your schedule or not your schedule your rank even if you lose every game anyway that's shit and that's all I really got for that what the Oh, who else is... Who's in the AFC South that that's in the playoffs? I'm assuming it's... Uh, Jaguars. And is the Texans? Do they have a chance? I don't think so. Give me a moment. No, I don't think they have a chance. So it's this Colts and Oh wait, no, I think they still do have a chance. Cause it's Colts and the Texans right now, ain't it? Yes. So depending on how that game goes, I... but I don't see I um Texans the aren't much uh, of a team for the playoffs no, anyway. No, um I don't think either of them can get in. Oh, so it's just Bragging rights yeah, I, 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 if I, if I'm right, because Pittsburgh already had their game, they won. Yeah. So that the, the, like, I don't see, cause, yeah, I don't think they have a chance. But it doesn't say it doesn't say that they're eliminated. But I could be freaking wrong. I mean, all right, hold on, hold, all right, so. Indianapolis can clinch the AFC South Division with title with Indianapolis wins against Jacksonville. Wait, hold on, who's who's all playing who this freaking week? Colts are playing the Texans right Col now, right? Uh, let's see. Yes, Colts are playing Texans right now. Alright. So. So if Jacksonville wins. Alright. Who was I looking at? Oh no, I'm looking at Indianapolis. Wow, why did I get all free complete feud? Then clinch the South Division title with Indianapolis wins. Jacksonville uses their ties. Indianapolis ties. And, the, and Jacksonville loses. And then I was going to clinch a playoff berth with Indianapolis win. Houston can clinch AFC South Division Jags title play with the, uh, Houston Titans. win and ja Jacksonville losing. So Jackson, so. Jacksonville has to lose for both them teams. Yes. That's and... not happening. <laughs> They're playing the Titans. I'm they sure could, they could they could rest everybody and not care. Well no, I guess they're sitting far enough down that they would care. They have to. But yeah. South always sucks. It's boring. I guess they don't always suck, but it's, I don't know, it's just, the AFC South and the NFC South, it's just, it's never, I don't know what the word for it is, but it's just, them, them two divisions never intrigue me, ever. <laughs> it's either lopsided so bad that you know some what team's winning or they're just all so bad 
it's sad. Um, well, so I guess that's it, right? For the yeah. playoff picture? Yeah, for the most part, at least anything I feel that needs. Who are the, who is the Chiefs playing this week? The Chiefs are playing this, just, uh, the Chargers. Oh. So they got themselves yeah. a win this week. They're I was like, the I just did right? my picks, and I know I picked the Chiefs. <laughs> um, yes. So they're, they're the eh, they'll the probably moment. they could just rest starters without a chance at the number one seed. So the games are interesting this week, but at the same time, they kind of aren't. Just because the teams that will rest their starters and some games that don't matter. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, that's all I got for that. Where's the. Oh, there it is. Never mind. And obviously, Eagles are going to beat the Buccaneers. That's, the, that's just the way they're going to play. Jags and Ravens. Jags and Ravens? That's just a gimmick. Oh, is this the... What? Ravens just played. Wait, no. No. Wait, where, do, where are you reading that at? On week 18. Oh. Wait, how did I not see that? Oh. Not. It's supposed to be Jags and Titans. Titans. It's a different one here. <laughs> Where did I have put in there? I had Ravens put in there, right? Yeah. I don't I think I I, th I think I know why I did wrong then. Titans. Alright. Do you wanna go through picks this week? We can go through picks. Yeah, we do. So I guess we'll start with the Jags and the Titans. I'm going Titans. I'm going Jags. I just I see the Jags winning just because it's they're gonna They'll be in the playoffs if they win, so they're kind of controlling their own destiny. And I think that's why they'll lose. Oh, okay. Good enough reason for me. Uh, <laughs> Venom, you get. I guess you could go through those picks himself if he wants later. Yeah, if he if he remembers. I hope someone's calling me. All right, we got the Vikings and the Lions. I've got. You already made, yeah, you already made all your picks, so I can go through this if you're getting on the phone. Uh, sorry, say that again. I said, you now we've got the Vikings and the Lions. Well, obviously, we both see eye to eye on this one, uh, Lions. <laughs> uh, honestly, because it does matter, I do think the Lions will give their best showing. I don't think the Vikings are going to be a pushover, but I'm uh, really, okay. really think that the Lions so the have Lions... more motivation have clenched their division so they've got their playoff spot <sighs> yeah but even if they rest their starters I do think just just the momentum that the Lions do have like I said they they, they lost a point lost five point to the Cowboys last week but I still think that they're gonna come pushing out strong even 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 the second yeah. the backups and I do think it's gonna be at least a good match you know the Vikings, I I think, because they have they have a chance. Obviously, they're gonna play hard, but right, I think they still have a chance for it. Yes, I don't think they're eliminated. I don't think they're eliminated either. I think they're still in the hunt. Um, it could go either way, but I I. It, it could be, you know, a throwaway game on the Lions part. It doesn't matter no more. You know, just like with the Patriots, it doesn't matter no more. Right. So, so yeah, this week's game for the Vikings does matter. So they have it to does. win. Ooh, maybe not. Do the does the Pack play this week? Yes. Uh, uh the Packers play. Did they they beat the Vikings. Oh, you went over this already, didn't you? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, they play. Oh no, that's. Oh, they play the Bears, and I I know the Packers are gonna beat the Bears. Yeah, so the Vikings are fucked. Because <laughs> if their Packers are gonna beat the Bears, it's gonna put them at nine and eight, and the Vikings will be at eight and nine if they beat the Lions. So I don't. Yeah, I don't see the Vikings really making the playoffs this week here. They might be mathematically. Well, actually, see, it, it, see, it's it's. I'm on the fence because I forgot the about Vikings are going to, to get. It, but hold on, let me see if I can. Let me get. Oh wait! All right, so Minnesota can clinch a playoff berth with Minnesota winning, Green Bay losing, Seattle losing, and Tampa Bay losing. Who losing? Oh. All right, so Minnesota can clinch the playoff if Green right. Bay loses, Seattle loses, and Tampa Bay loses, or if Minnesota wins, Green Bay loses, Not gonna Seahawks happen. lose. Um, I know. Is that New Orleans? Who's that? No. New Orleans. Okay, so I'm right. So they need three teams to lose. I don't see that happening. Not with the Bucks playing the Panthers this week. <laughs> Did I say? I Panthers? think for the Vikings. Oh yeah, yeah. Tampa Bay. Yeah. So they're playing the Panthers, and I don't see them losing. And I don't obviously you don't see the Packers losing to the Bears, so they're they're kind of fucked. You know, I hate to do it, and just so you know, my heart does lie with the Lions, but I think it's gonna be a fuck. fuck I'm gonna fuck you. I'm, I'm gonna just fuck fuck with you game, and the Vikings are gonna win, just cause the Lions ain't gonna play no one really starting. Hmm? It's a viable reason. <laughs> there, there, there is no consequence. Not for 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 the Lions losing. No, that's a reason why I could see them losing this week, but they might. <sighs> I mean, the logic says Vikings. Yes, but... <laughs> and but I could also see, you know, the backups and. People who don't get a lot of playing time, you know kind of trying, just so they can, you know, prove themselves. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my first choice. You're right, and I I I, because honestly, it's a good time to shine. <laughs> it is that that sets you up for next season, or if an injury happens, playoff. Right. So, I mean, it is possible, but it's just improbable. The pick doesn't matter. <laughs> right. <laughs> it doesn't. Falcon Saints. I am saying the Falcons. Uh, Saints. Falcons have a way of blowing a lot of things, so... Oh, yeah, they do. And it's, from the looks of it, it's... The Saints are in New Orleans, so... I don't see them losing a home game to the Falcons. I wonder what you're going to pick for the next one. The Jets versus the Patriots. Yep. I'm going Patriots, obviously. Jets you suck, know, too. I, I, so I, I it see really them winning there, <laughs> but I think the Jets will take it. Well, it'd be the first one they've had in years against them. Bucks, Panthers. I had the Bucks. Actually, uh, that Jets and Patriots game, I. I really don't see the Jets winning. Just because of Belichick, it could be his job, so he's going to want to beat them. If he wants to stay with the Patriots, that is. I could see him going into that game. Just to prove a point to Kraft. But anyway, we can go to the next one.
Bucks Panthers. Wait, right? Yeah, Bucks Panthers. I have the Bucks. Nice. No contest. <laughs> and honestly, I got nothing more to say on that. Um, so I'm just gonna move us to the Browns Bengals. Uh, I can see the Bengals beating the Browns this week. The Browns hey, have already clinched the playoff spot, right? Uh, yes, they did. Yeah, so I can see the Bengals beating the Browns. Just not playing starters. Yeah, see, I, I didn't take that into consideration. <laughs> I honestly didn't. Like, I... That's why we talked about You know it. what? <laughs> I I still... It's a divisional <laughs> game, so Tennessee it could be kind of... do this good since Hayden or whatever the hell's name was. <laughs> they might play Flacco just because he hasn't had a lot of playing time this year. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the Browns. But yeah. I am. I honestly I I I just I don't know. I keep the Bengals Falcons. have a chance. Here, let's do the Bengals even have a chance. No. They are mathematically oh. eliminated from the playoffs. Yeah, they are eliminated. <laughs> I wasn't I I didn't remember hundred percent what their record was, so I couldn't exactly Last week loss against the Chiefs mathematically eliminated them. They had to win last week to have a chance at making the playoffs, and they didn't. So, I said, I don't know, weeks ago when we started this podcast and uh, Joe Burrow went down, they weren't making the playoffs, so. Their season ended with Joe Burrow getting injured. They weren't mathematically eliminated out of the playoffs, but they might as well have been eliminated from the playoffs when their quarterback got hurt. I always forget that about, uh, I keep forgetting that Joe Flacco is on the Browns, though. So, they might not sit him this week just because to give him some playing time and reps. Honestly, it's not uh, like he needs honestly, rest. I don't know. I don't know what the third string is like, but it wouldn't be a bad idea, to be honest. He's still got skill. Flacco? Still got talent, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, I ain't talking shit about Flacco, you know. I could see them not rest, not resting him just because he hasn't really been playing this year, so he's missed most of the season. He's had several weeks of rest. <laughs> he might play. Yeah, he actually needs to play this like this week. They they need to know where he sits. Yeah. And like you give him good evaluation throughout practice, but the real test is is in the heat of the moment. Yeah. But enough about Flacco. Packers Bears, because this one does matter. Actually, it doesn't. Honestly, if Green Bay wins, they clinch playoff berth. Yeah. But it, I don't. Literally, see all they gotta do is win. So, and I they, and they need this win. Um, because I do think they can fall out. I can see the Bears trying to beat them like the Lions did last year and knock them out of the playoffs. So like last year, the Lions were mathematically eliminated from the playoffs at that point, and Green Bay was not. They had to beat the Lions, and everyone thought that the uh, Packers were going to win, and they didn't. <laughs> and I think they got themselves eliminated from the playoffs. So potentially the Bears could win. Just to knock oh, yeah, most their definitely it's the game that out. matters. But because it could be beat the Packers, give the Vikings a chance. Well, I don't think they care about that either. Just kind of. I'm just saying, it, it, it's still them. a big fuck you to the Packers. Yeah. It literally, and that's what it's all about with those teams. <laughs> Both of them hate the fucking Packers, so. Yeah. 
Cowboys Washington game. Cowboys. I'm actually I I'm actually changing my my vote because Cowboys are second seed. The game doesn't matter to them. That's true, but Washington sucks bad. Yeah, but their their run defense is terrible. I, we 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 have seen the Cowboys do questionable things this season. Um, that's true, but I still don't see them. Washington being able to beat them, just their run defense is bad. So oh, wait, you play wait, a running yeah, back, and he's gonna run right through that line. Man, this could be that fucking game, though. What? This just could be that game that Wash goes all out. I, I'm not saying it's not, but. You know what? I love my I love my Cowboys, but hey, I'm gonna make my I'm gonna make that my pick. What, Washington? Yeah, I just because I don't see the Cowboys really playing anyone who's gonna matter. They're 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 definitely gonna need to. He Dallas is already should is already because they play Packers. What every three? Oh no, because they play them twice a year for sure. What? I'm thinking of uh something else. Who? Um, I don't know. <clears throat> I I do think the Cowboys will rest up for that pack for that Packers oh, game. I'm sure that they game will. means more than anything. But I'm just saying that I think a third string could run through uh Washington's lo- defensive line, so I I still think the Cowboys are gonna win. I hope you're right. But if just the Jets can do it, the Cowboys time. can do it with third string. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can't believe you're actually trying to talk me on the Cowboys side. This is fucking weird. <laughs> just, just being logical here. <laughs> yeah. All right, you convinced me. Look at that. You made me change my freaking pick. I just Washington sucks. Their run defense know, is terrible. Oh, I know. It's just there ain't not gonna be no heavy hitters, and I just don't have confidence in this fucking third string. So I really just don't. It's the Cowboys in the playoffs. Come on, man. I barely have confidence in the starting lineup. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eagles Giants. Uh, I could. S- Wait, you skipped one. I did. Yes. Oh, Broncos Raiders. Uh, Raiders. Just cause <laughs> it's a division <laughs> game. Raiders are halfway decent even though they lost this week <clears throat> I don't think I think the Broncos are mathematically eliminated from the playoffs aren't they um, you give me a moment I'll give you that for sure oh hey my work felt like in the right position they are mathematically eliminated yeah so do you know who else is mathematically eliminated the Patriots. Yeah. That was weeks ago, though. <laughs> they were the first team eliminated. <laughs> hey, I just, I just wanted to bring it up. Well, it hold, I, holds a nice, I have, nice sweet place in my heart. It's a memory I will always remember now. Yeah, I had Patriots had twenty years of success. It's time for some other uh, teams to have some fun. The fall of the false gods. Yeah. I can see. All right. Patriots next uh-huh. season making the playoffs if they draft properly, but that's never even on there. We'll talk about that when the draft happens. I'd say about the next two, three years. Oh, I should give them proper. I think so. After this showing, depending on picks, draft picks do matter. Yeah. So, honestly, depending on what they draft, what they're looking for, but giving up that freaking draft pick was stupid. Giving up what draft pick? I thought they gave up their uh, their first. I thought they traded their first round. No, that was the Panthers. Oh, that was Panthers. To the Bears. Bears have it. Okay, never never mind. Okay, I I either misunderstood what I yeah I just misunderstood that whole situation. All right. Um. Oh yeah. Okay, so we both picked the Raiders, Eagles, Giants. I want Eagles just because it's the Eagles. 
I can see the Giants beating them. I don't. I don't. I really don't see the Eagles wrestling anybody either. Can they? Can they be nice at it? Maybe not. I could see the uh, well, Giants beating them just as a fuck you yeah. to their divisional rival. <laughs> to, like, to be honest, and it doesn't mean anything. So, yeah, honestly, yeah, because they claim, yeah, they claim. Yeah, I will be changing my pick to the Giants as well based on that. Okay, no, I won't. I'm actually sticking with that because, oh, my God, our picks are freaking matching. <laughs> hey. Like, our first two, our first picks, the Jag Titans pick, were different. And then everything else, oh, no, I guess we did pick the Falcon Saints differently, too. And Oh, maybe not. Okay. I'm going to go back to my Giants pick, then. Seahawks Cardinals. Oh. You got something? No. You sure? Hawks. <laughs> no, I have nothing. I. If I did, I already forgot what it was. <laughs> I, I I went Hawks as well, but I I don't feel bad because I already had all mine picked before you picked me, so I don't feel like I'm copying like that. Oh. I have my own opinion. This yeah. apparently matches up with yours. Rams <laughs> Niners. I actually think the Rams are going to win. Rams, yeah. Niners are going to rest all their starters, so they're not even, they're not going to go try hard. No, Rams are going to win this game. Yeah, um, honestly, I don't know if the Rams will be playing anyone worth worth mentioning either. Unless, unless that, well, yeah, because they're they already clinched, so. So yeah, um, Chief Chargers. I went Chiefs. Oh, definitely. Huh? Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Actually, and I'm I'm gonna go opposite of you. Just say the Chargers are gonna win, just because yeah, Chiefs definitely. are gonna rest starters. Yeah, even with the resting of starters, I do think um, the Chiefs are gonna play better than the Chargers. Probably will. I just I don't like the Chiefs, so I'm going against them. Hey, that's fine. <laughs> There's just freaking diversity in this shit now. <laughs> Bill uh, Dolphins. Dolphins. See, I want Bills because I don't think the the Dolphins are actually putting anyone worth m worth mentioning. I just say Dolphins because it's a divisional game, so it's the divisional rivalry. And honestly, I do think the Bills is just going to be a fuck you run at them anyways. Yeah. Look I at us. What do you mean? Oh, no, I'm just... That's what I'm saying that they say to them. Look it up. Yeah. We still here. You might be... We're going in the playoffs. We're still here. I don't see it happening. This is, we're coming for you. They're going Dude, I'm telling you, man, the Bills are going. They're, they're going to have one of these games. It's either going to be the. Yeah, see, I do think they have a chance of beating them. Oh no. Okay, never mind. The more I saw, I, I put that into my my thing. Yeah, no, never mind. Oh, what was the thought? <laughs> there was no thought. It was it was flawed. It was a flaw. <laughs> Miscalculation. Oh. Not. Definitely not saying that stupid shit out loud. Oh, come on. Definitely not. You can try to catch me on something else later. Oh, I'm sure I will. I got plenty of time. <laughs> and that will be it. Is the, 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 so week eight, the rest of week 18 uh, matches. This week Match will be kind of boring, for, other than a few games. I don't know. I think um, some of these games that are going to be second string battles, I think they're going to be really good. Yeah, I mean, it could be. It just because this this is this this is the start based on trades and whatnot in the off season, but this is the start of showing hey. 
I can start next season. Right. You know? Yeah. The combine starts now. <laughs> Basically. I I mean, playoff-wise, I guess, none of them are interesting other than, like, a handful. But the handful that are interesting are so far out there that this team might as well already be considered clinched. So that's 14, where... 16, or 14-6 Texans, by the way. Sorry. 14-6 Texans. Oh. Okay. And a half. Texans are going to win. Unless the Colts come back. But, doubt it. End of the year. Teams are thinking about... Them two teams are thinking about the draft pick. All right, well, I guess that's it for this week. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's a good thing uh, Venom didn't have the brain cell because we were actually able to talk this week. Hey, yo, this might be our best episode yet. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, no. We kind of <laughs> lacked in the other sports. Never mind. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> but leave a like. Leave a comment. We had you in football. We had you in football. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. So leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Have a good evening.